Right, welcome back everyone. Today we're starting fresh on Triton and I'm really excited to, you know, show off this new series. Um, as we're descending, let me give you a quick rundown on what it is uh, that we'll be doing this episode. So mainly this is going to be like every other starter episode. We're going to be rushing getting a temporary base going. Uh, we're going to be upgrading our little drop pod here into a drill ship. Uh, gathering some cobalt and uh, really just getting us set up for the rest of the series. Um, and now that we've touched down, like I know that the mining process can get extremely repetitive. I, I see we've got a bunch of decent uh, ores deposits around us as well, which is going to be really useful. Anyway, I know the mining process can be... Uh, really repetitive so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna do that off cam uh fill up our respawn pod here with a bunch of uh resources and just to kind of kick start us and get us going once we're done we'll be back ready to build our base so we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit and we'll see you soon all right that is our resources taken care of at least for a little while hopefully uh ended up doing a bit more mining than i had intended but put some music on uh just sat back and got into a good groove with it um i also decided to make all our components before we got to this point uh just again i wanted to make sure that this series was going to progress smoothly uh, I don't want you guys to have to sit around and watch too much of the initial grind. We've all seen it a hundred times before. Um, so yeah, we're going to go for a 5 by 5 platform to start with. That 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 5 by 5 And then I'm going to just scoot out this way another random amount. So we can put down our wind turbines. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That is going to be where we will place our wind turbines. And I'm hoping I've brought everything I need to weld up our first four, at least our first two anyway. Uh, we'll get those welded up so that we've got our power sorted. Yeah, I've got enough for two on me. Um, and I should have enough for the full four wind turbines uh, already made up on the survival kit. Oh, hydrogen's low. Oh, I forgot to add um, viable hydrogen. That is going to have to be something I change next time I reopen the world. Um, if you've struggled with hydrogen usage, like I, I find, uh, kind of hydrogen and space engineers is not balanced very well, in my opinion. Uh, so I, I run a mod called viable hydrogen. Um, and what it does is it just reduces the amount of ice you need to create hydrogen, uh, and also increases the amount of hydrogen you get per piece of ice that you convert over i suppose um what else does it do yeah no, it, it's one of the mods that i can no longer play without we'll quickly get those added to the build queue and continue just welding everything up we got to get you know our our starter base at least functional. Ah, uh, what are we missing? Construction comp. At least we have the resources we need. Now it's just the last bit of construction comp. I don't, not sure what the last bit of construction comp's for. It's for this. It just added it. Added it, added, it, added it in a really weird place. Come on, last four pieces of construction comp. Two, one, there. 
We'll get this welded up to completion and we can transition all of our resources across to the base really quickly. Come on. Admittedly, I could have put it closer to the ship. Uh, the other thing we need to empty out is because because I decided to smelt so much, uh, I had to shove some stuff into the uh, the passenger seat they give you in the planet Terry drop pod. But that should allow us to deposit everything in. Now, if we need to make anything, we have ourselves a stable platform to do it from. First things first, we're going to add a battery to the space. Um, just because I've had a lot of experience with wind turbines not producing enough power. Are we out of metal uh, steel plate completely? Ah, for example... We are already not, we already don't have enough power with four wind turbines because there's not enough wind. So we will be transitioning this base over to, um, over to hydrogen engines pretty much as quickly as we can. Right, so we'll just get these added to the build planner. Turn off the refinery because we're not going to be needing it. Uh, let the assembler do its thing. And while it's doing that, we're going to go and get started on stripping down our uh, drop pod. So I think this is a good time to kind of talk about the settings that we are using for this world. We, um, I have welding and grinding at times five because I'm, I just don't want to have to deal with, uh, you know, just welding and grinding things for, for too long. Uh, it's going to really help with the flow of everything as well. While we're here, we might as well, cause I've left progression on, we might as well do our progression by rewelding the light back up before getting rid of it. We will be adding that back onto the ship later, but for now, I just need the space. Um, survival kit's coming off. We might as well slap that straight down onto the base. Boom, boom. Boom. Here we go. Survival kit. So now we don't have to worry about uh, needing somewhere to respawn. How's our production going? Still got a little while left on that. So we can continue stripping this thing down. We need to get in here. Crouch. So everything in here needs to go. Oh, I forgot I had gravel forced into there. Oh, yes, we need to grind out that hydrogen thruster. That's going to give us the four metal grids we need to get our directional thrust. And that disconnects that landing gear. And that landing gear is no longer attached to anything, so that can come out. And that gives us a good kind of base platform to build everything in. Next, I clean out these blocks along the top. As it gives us somewhere to put our directional thrusters. Energy low. Now we've got enough energy for a little while. All detectors staying and our antenna is staying as well as the battery because while we can build another battery, it's only going to come with a 20% charge and 20% is not going to be quite enough for us to get our first mission done. 
Quickly recharge. All. Um. Okay. So we need to reweld up a landing gear, which I should have done with the ones that we. Well, that gives us access to cockpits. And we're just going to go with the standard, just a basic cockpit. It doesn't have to be anything flash for our first ship. Chuck some blocks in so it's easier to snap to. Uh, that gets that started. We want to get an O2H2 on the back of it just to adapt it into a medium cargo container. Oh, two H two that one. Um, number one thing to double check when you're using these on, um, you know, to try and adapt the line on the conveyor port on the back of this lines up with uh, is runs in line with where the small ports are on the other side. A few times when I've tried to place them, I've placed them the wrong way around, and it means that you can't pass. Uh, cargo through so you know most of you will probably already know that but I mucked it up so badly so many times that I found it was worth mentioning <laughs> all right we should have everything we need for our battery done now yes so we can turn our refinery on so that we can withdraw components We'll dump in so we can withdraw more. It's just our power cells left. And that should get our power on base sorted for a little while. Um, yeah, so now we've got enough wind to charge the battery. Or what are we inputting? Yeah, we're inputting 1.9 megawatts. Uh, and only needing 17 kilowatts, but the wind is so sporadic. Sometimes it's great, sometimes it's crap. So uh, adding a battery on a wind turbine base, I like 10 out of 10 would recommend. Okay, now it's what we need to get the cockpit going. Grab that. And to get the O2H2 going, grab that. using the two uh, steel plate we've got on us. We'll slap our battery in. Uh, do I want to add that to build plan? I don't know if we'll build that quite. Nah, screw it. We'll build it. It'll just give us a little bit more flight time where we don't have to worry about falling out of the sky. Okay, it's still missing computers. There. And it's just the power cells for the battery. Then I think all we need is a medium cargo container, uh, our four directional thrusters, and a drill. And we have ourselves our first functioning ship. Well, I don't know if I'd call it functioning quite yet. So we'll grab some metal plate and add another 100 of that on. So we still got it. Yeah, we definitely got the metal grids we need. So we need to get a cargo container. Cargo. Go for a medium. Ah, I don't have any of the interior plate. Uh, I should still have some. 
I've got to be mindful. I've got no way, no way to refill on um, hydrogen at the moment, so I've got to be quite careful with uh, how I'm using it. One display. Oh, that's everything we need for our cargo container. Now just our drill. Drill and thrusters. Drill and thrusters. Uh, so, XG drill. And thruster. We'll just use the basic atmospheric. We've, we've already got basic ones on the outside changing to a... Um, there's something different at this point would be kind of useless. That's why it didn't look right to me. Rotate the drill. No, we won't weld that. We will place our thrusters. Five. And I just slot these in nicely. There. There. There and... There. Ah, yes, no, I want gyros. I want at least two gyros, if not a few more. Two should be enough for uh, the single drill. But, you know, if we're going to want more drills eventually, yeah, we should get more. But for now... should be at least one thruster going Energy low. ouch let's quickly empty inventory recharge and that'll give us a little bit more time to weld up what it, oh not weld to make up the components in the basic assembler Cool. Let's grab those out. Still waiting on a few components. Quickly weld up that one. That one. And that one. That is our directional thrust sorted. And we just need our drill and our gyros. And we are good to go for our first flight. Now this feels like it's really quick to actually get to having your first drill ship, but it's because of the amount of time I spent mining off cam. It normally takes a lot longer, I promise. It, uh, um, gyro. So we'll grab a gyro. What do I need to place those? Steel plate? I don't have any on me. We will just haphazardly slap these down for now. There and there. I don't really care about orientation at this point. Because I shouldn't need to roll this thing over. Fingers crossed. If I need to roll this thing over, I have done something majorly wrong. But we've still got enough resources. But yeah, so I'm not going to worry about um, putting a connector on this thing yet or on the base because uh, that is something that is easier done once you've got a lot more resources available to you. And at the moment, uh, while we've got a little bit of resources, they would disappear really quickly trying to make up the large grid connector. Uh, also, we don't really have any storage on the base to actually use the connector with. So, yeah, we, we need cobalt, which is going to be the ship's first job is gathering cobalt. All right. I think that is everything we need for our little drill ship. First things first, we jump into uh, configuring our hotbar. First thing I always do is go block tools, drag in the drill to slot one. Um... I'll always go and search for my batteries, put them into a group called batteries. 
Uh, that allows me to add them to the hotbar. Say it's number four. Uh, to toggle recharge so I can tell it when, uh, to, when to stop consuming power, essentially, without a connector. Or when to recharge when I've got it on the base. And then the last thing, I'm going to want the landing gear somewhere in about seven on switch lock. And then I want to change the settings for that landing gear. I don't want it to auto lock. Uh, now we just grab all our thrusters, turn them on. Sean terminal. And we are good to go for our inaugural flight. I think. Yeah, no, we are good. So we are looking for cobalt and luckily our ore detectors already picked up a nickel cobalt um, ore deposit just over this way. Where did you go? Where did you go? Where did you go? Nickel Cobalt, 200 and something meters this way. Lots of magnesium over here, which is great for getting some defenses. 220 meters down. Right, so we will just pretty much start aiming for that from here. Uh, we're going to... I won't make you watch this all the way through, so we'll time lapse it, and I'll see you on the other side of this. So I've done what I like to do with kind of all of the ore deposits that I go and extract, especially with uh, sh if I'm using a ship like the one that uh, we are using here, which is I will expose the side of the ore deposit so that I can mine in it while maintaining the ship in the direct, well, in a way that it's going to you use the thrust that I've placed on it, like the. All of my directional thrust for this ship is uh, placed in the upwards direction. So if I'm in any other orientation, uh, this ship is going to struggle. And I think he's talking of struggling. We kind of don't want to fill it up too much more than we have. Otherwise, I'm going to struggle to get this thing out of here. Uh, so yeah, it, it just means that you're not struggling to get your ship back out of the hole that you're digging so it's just something that i do i'm gonna go ahead and take this back to base and we'll meet you back over there right we made it back to base we put our ship into charge mode and we have to manually transfer everything across because we don't have a connector but it looks like we got a fairly decent haul uh, definitely enough to kind of keep us going for a little while. How are we looking on the iron front? We've still got 8k left. Uh, so at this point, while it is, you know, give it some time to do up our cobalt. The next thing we're looking at doing is we'll slap a large cargo container. Seeing that we've got so much cobalt, 
I'm going to skip straight past the small cargo container. We're going to go for a large cargo container. We're going to give it some time to smelt, and uh, we'll be back in a little bit. All right, it's been about five to ten minutes, and uh, we've got 100 cobalt smells already, which is great. So to get ready for our cargo container, we're going to move our ship off the base for now. Uh, I also added a new thing to the toolbar. I forgot that when you turn your batteries to recharge mode, there's no power going to the rest of the the ship, so you can't actually access cargo through, like if something's in the cockpit and I'm trying to grab it out of the uh, cargo container on the back, it just doesn't work. So, um, yeah, no, it's better to turn your thrusters off and add that to your hotbar. So we'll just uh, bring this off the base by a little bit. Oh, jeez. Add some more space. Level it out. And then turn its thrusters off, just so it's not using any more power than it absolutely has to. I'm going to grab out our grinder, and I think it's three blocks for our cargo container, and it's going to go back one. Is that going to leave us a connection point to the... Yes. Something like that. I don't want the industrial one. It doesn't have as many cargo ports. What do we need? Interior plates. That's going to go there. Start welding it. Can I get to the conveyor port? And then just add everything to the uh, to production and hope we've got enough resources. Ah, we got plenty. Um, while it's making up those resources, what can we do? Uh, do we have what we need for... How much iron are we using? Oh, we're using piss all. Yeah, no, we've got enough for connectors. I thought we were going to need to go for more runs to get connectors going, but we it looks like we should have enough to get connectors going. So let's grab some steel plates. Mm, what do I need for connectors? Ah, we need to have built a conveyor, so we'll build a small conveyor. Just somewhere random where it can... Uh, we need... Some interior plate to be able to place this. There. Hopefully we've got everything else we need for this. I need instruction comp and a motor. Construction comp. And a motor. All right, cool. That is going to unlock our connectors. Claim back those resources. Connectors. Now, I'm not going to... Well, I'll tell you about... I thought I had the greatest new way to, um, you know, quickly... Actually, now that I think about it, using the back, you could... So you could... We could make this ship multifunctional if we wanted to by adding a remote control kind of at the back here, facing backwards, and then using connectors to give us a welder. Um, Because then that gives us our large cargo port all the way through, and then we can, you know, connect and disconnect from the welder. I haven't tested that. It's just an idea. Um, And it could be a great way for us to get kind of early access to a welding ship without having to build a whole new ship. Uh, 
Okay, what do we got left to make? We got a little bit left. And then we can get our connectors. Then the ship can dock to the base and charge. Um, next thing would be slapping an O2H2. So we'll probably go a um, conveyor junction here. And then here we'll put the O2H2 so that we can um, refuel on hydrogen at the survival kit. Um, and that's our basic base pretty much done, other than adding, like, a hydrogen uh, engine to it. Uh, hopefully this is all finished production. I I was hoping to try and have all my resources always done. Uh, so I apologize. I, I know I said I would keep this thing as, uh, you know, as a nice, quick more engaging style of content and so far it's not working out so um we'll be back after everything has finished uh being produced so we'll get the connectors added and we'll get those added to production and then we'll be back once everything is made all right we'll see you guys in a bit right it is all done it is done we did it so that should be everything we need for the cargo container. And the two connectors. So cargo, connector, base connector, and ship connector. So now we've got a much easier way to kind of dock and charge the ship. If I can see. That is probably the first thing I'm going to be doing is setting up a uh, AI block so that I don't have to dock my ship myself. Ah, that's what we need to do. Add the connector to the hotbar and use switch lock. I don't like using park or P for using connectors. I, it's just an old habit. Um, I'm pretty sure they patched out the bug where if you used it in like a carrier or a base where you got multiple ships docked, um, that it would undock all of them. But I still like to be safe. So, they, you know, you can work with that how you would like to. Do with that what you want to. Right, so we're going to go a uh, conveyor junction here. So we're going to want... A bunch more interior plate, and we're going to want a bunch of steel plate as well. So we just want a plane junction so that we've got room to expand off it later. And we've already got the O2H2. Get those added to the build planner. And uh, we'll let those uh, tick away. Well, it is. I'm going to go do a couple more. Uh, I'm going to do a stone run just to restock the base on resources uh, so that we don't run out. So I'm going to go do that. And uh, we'll bring you guys back once we are ready to... Uh, upgrade to a an assembler and we're probably going to use lord waiter's tiered systems and jump probably to tier three but we'll do that once we're back from a stone run we're just going to go straight back to the same mine we just made but yeah we'll be back in a bit all right we've got everything we need in our inventory for an assembler uh we've already emptied out and grinded down our basic assembler ready for our um our assembler to slot straight in so we're going to slap that down quickly rush weld this and then we're gonna rush tier three hopefully we should have just enough resources on base like well i suppose we're not going to run out of resources on base because 
uh, we have like I I did a bunch of mining. Um, and so it would just be a case of prioritizing what resources we need first. Right now, I've got it processing the Tainite, ta ta um, which is iron and nickel, just because we need that iron more than we need any other resource. But yeah, now we've got ourselves an assembler, which should have access to everything else. So we can go straight ahead and start building what we need for a tier 2 assembler. I think it's 20 of those motors. Let's just go assembler. So tier 2, 24 motors, 180 computers, 165 steel plate. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to rush the um, upgrade process. We already covered this in our last attempt at this series, so I'm not going to make you watch it again. I'll be back once I've got everything to tier 3, and uh, we'll be good to progress from there. All right, see you guys soon. Okay, so we have upgraded to tier 3. So we got a tier 3 assembler. Uh, while I was doing it, we were having power issues. So I've also slapped in two of uh, the tier 3 hydrogen engines, which have made it so that power is no longer an issue for this base. Um, I also went through and... Uh, you know, I was doing a bunch of mining runs and, you know, I wanted to be able to bring more back. So I upgraded our, <laughs> our drop pod. It is now an absolute monstrosity. Um, but it now has tier three batteries. Uh, I've upgraded its thrusters to tier three and added in some hydrogen thrusters just so that it can, uh, I'm not so worried about it in different orientations. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's kind of where we've got to. And if you're wondering why I kind of cut all of that footage out, we're already kind of at like a, a 40 minute mark. And I promised these videos were only going to be 45 minutes long max. I, like, I, I don't want them to feel like a chore to watch. Um, so I am going to cut out certain parts of the process. But anyway, this uh, monstrosity of a ship needs a name so, and I'm, I'm like, I'm really, really bad with coming up with names for things. I don't know if you noticed in the last attempt at the series, but everything was just given an acronym based on what it was. So our mobile drill rig was just called MBR. Our drill rig base or the base drill rig was just called, um, yeah, DRB or something. Like, um, yeah, naming is not my strong suit. So if you, you can think of a name, let me know in the comments. Um, and if there is too many good options to choose from, we will, I'll, I'll run a random, uh, randomizer to pick out of what you guys come up with. Um, but for now, that is pretty much as far as our little platform is going or that I want our little platform to take us. Um, so that is going to be where we call this episode, uh, Next episode, we will start actually building uh, something a little more long term, uh, giving ourselves a large refinery. Um, but then we will progress towards getting, yeah. So, so next episode will be a more kind of permanent base. I think we're going to skip straight past using wind turbines and solar panels and go straight to hydrogen engines and batteries. Um, that's the other thing we've done is I have added in the viable hydrogen. So if we come in here, control panel, O2H2 generator. Um, I suppose I should have shown this before I did it. Um, we are currently outputting very little because the hydrogen engines, like, well, I'm not really needing to power anything on this base at the moment. Uh, <laughs> I, I will get a proper comparison for next time. But yeah, that, that is going to be where we uh, call this episode. Uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in and watching. Thank, you know, for those of you that have decided to stick around despite my absolute mega screw up on the uh, last series, I appreciate you. We will be building towards the same kind of systems that we had. We will be building an underground bunker at some point. We just won't be rushing towards it so quickly. 
Um, for now, we're going to kind of focus more on getting our systems in place so that once we get to that bunker, we have everything we need for it. But yeah, that's going to be all from me for now. So until next time, stay safe, look after yourself, and peace, guys. <laughs>